Picture this, you join the server as its newest player, only to find out that just days away is a massive server-wide war, with everyone fighting for the rarest armor in the game. Problem is, well, those around you have had several weeks to prepare for this, and will stop at nothing to get what they want. The odds are stacked so heavily against you, that it seems nearly impossible to compete. So what do you do in this situation? Well, I had two options. Either beat the odds, or die trying. And failure is not something written on my to-do list. So the preparation begins now. And to save time doing this, I decided instead of making my own base, why not just use someone else's? It's a great idea in theory, but it's obviously easier said than done. For one, the ground I have to cover spans millions upon millions of blocks, and the bases can be located in two different dimensions. So finding an existing base, and an active one at that, would be extremely difficult. After getting the basic materials going, I decided the best place to start looking would be villages. For me to have any chance at all in this battle, villagers would be the key to success. And that's why they're exactly what I'm looking for. So right away, this makes any village a popular location for those hiding their bases. Unfortunately, the ones I found were ransacked for everything they're worth, and the villagers are long gone. But don't be fooled, this is actually a good thing. You see, we're actually looking in these areas for any sort of, like, human activity. Like, something to indicate a player has been here, basically. And hopefully, we can use it to track down where they might have gone to. Things like random blocks, or, like, half-broken trees, open doors, even something as minute as, like, the growth stage of vines can be a dead giveaway. That is, as long as you know what to look for. Now, at this point, I found multiple locations where it looks like someone's been there, or something had happened there, but luck was not on my side. It seemed like it was taking up more time than it was worth, so I had to put it on the back burner for now. But we'll come back to it later. And I headed to the mines to get myself kitted out in some better armor. And I must have had like some insane cave luck because everywhere I ventured off to yielded even more diamonds. It was exactly what I had hoped for. But then something happened. Something out of the ordinary. Oh god. Please no. Oh no, this is not gonna die. Oh no! Oh, I played that so poorly. I have to go back there. Oh, it was so far away too. You know, the funny thing about that is like, I had enough diamonds to make armor, and I just didn't. You know? I just forgot about it. Anyway, I'm still very much on the fence about that whole area in general. Something just seems off. Because the first thing I noticed was the vines. It's kind of weird because if you think about vines, they don't spawn fully grown. So someone had to be in that area for a long period of time for it to grow all the way. Even something as minute as like the growth stage of vines can be a dead giveaway. And the second thing that was kind of weird about it was like the blocks. In the cave where I died, you saw like random moss blocks everywhere, which is not natural. Not in the slightest. So we can assume that was either someone placing blocks just randomly, or it could have been Enderman griefing. And the third thing that had me off guard was the village itself. Because it was strange to find a village that was untouched, unlooted, just completely normal. And maybe you could say, well, you know, maybe this area hasn't been explored. But that can't be the case there, because around those houses were crafting tables. And that would make a lot of sense, because the crafting tables mean a player was there, and the vine growth means someone's been there for a long period of time. And there's a portal here too, which is relatively close to where I died. So what I'm getting at is, if these chunks have been loaded for a long time, then something is definitely here. Something significant is hidden in this general vicinity, and I will stop at nothing to hunt it down for myself. Ha. Ah. No, my items! Oh, but I have the diamonds though, it's fine. I think I didn't lose much. I lost all the gold and all the iron. I got my axolotl, got my diamonds. Oh, the pickaxe is gone too. Oh no, I wasn't fast enough. Is it that big of a loss? I don't think it is. I think, I think we're okay. I guess we can keep looking. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Nah, there's no way. I hear villagers. Bro. There's so many of them too. Yeah, this is a base. This is definitely a base. Wait, where is this? Oh. Hello. <laughs> yeah, let me, let me uh, make some armor and stuff like that. Make sure I don't forget about this time. 
The question is, whose base is this? I need to, like, hook some deep slate so it doesn't look so obvious that I found this place. That way I can just patch it up. They don't even know, right? Wait, is this all I have? Like, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Yeah, that's, that seems better. What, what you got, what you got? Ooh. Ooh, really good bucks, actually. He has, like, every book in the game. Jesus Christ. Fish finish villagers, get blaze rods, materials. So this is an unfinished base. Someone's still working on this. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, okay, I can't get too carried away with this. This base had everything. A villager breeder to make more villagers, melons and pumpkins to trade for emeralds, an enchantment setup, basically everything I needed right here at my disposal. All I had to do was lay low for a while, work on my enchants, and make sure to not get caught. Because if I do, the consequences might be fatal. And I still don't even know who lives here. I figured the best way to play this would be to leave things exactly as they are, so the person isn't too suspicious. So I ended up making my own base inside the wall to store my things for now. Things were going great. That was until the second day was upon us. Okay, so this this changes things. Bro is using lodestones for decoration, that's crazy. <laughs> I had discovered that the owner had decorated their storage room, meaning for one, now we know this base is active. And two, if they're going to rebuild everything, I probably need to remove my base so they don't accidentally break into it. Welcome to my humble abode. Here we got the kitchen, the bedroom, the living room, we got sugarcane, we got potatoes, all the amenities. Truly living luxuriously out here. All we gotta do now is to show up to the event and return home a champion. It is exactly what I would have said if I didn't sleep through the entire thing. Yeah, took a bit of an L on that one, not gonna lie. So, new goal. Now, I never intended to just barge in here and, you know, grief his base and take his things. Because it seems like they genuinely put a lot of hard work into this, and I wouldn't want to ruin that. So, naturally, my next plan of action is to help him build part of his base, without him even knowing. I say let's give it a try. Okay, so he did, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the top of it is basalt, which we don't have right now. And I need to get rid of this floor as well. Now something I forgot to mention earlier is that because I have no idea who lives here, I get absolutely terrified when a new player logs in. I just have this weird feeling that like as soon as I get found, life as I know it is over. And finally, my worst fear has been spoken into existence. In front of my eyes is the owner of the base. I should have just backed up and hidden right then and there, but it was like I was frozen in fear. But as soon as he turns around, he's gonna realize that his base has been compromised. All his effort had become a waste, thus making his entire project a failure. But what was he gonna do to me? This is awkward. <laughs> this is awkward. Hey there, <laughs> how's it going? Um, I was gonna surprise you by decorating your base, like the, the unfinished parts, and then just like, just have you log on and see it. I thought I'd be, I'd be like safe for a while, because I, I didn't see anyone log on here. I was so scared, because people log on, I'm like, oh god, it's their, it's their base. It's this guy's base. It just, it just isn't though. Like, oh god, someone's gonna find me out, and they're gonna kill me. But yeah, I've, I've made an entire base behind your base, basically. That's pretty cool. Let's see. Nice. I'm sure you can hear. Nice. Also have a zombie grinder if you want to get some XP. This is also random. Did you know someone was no. living here? No, I had no idea until I saw the <laughs> little poles that I didn't put there. How did you find it? Funny story. So I was mining in this area of around here somewhere, and um, I saw the vines were totally grown, like in the caves and also above ground. So I knew someone was here for a long time. Oh, smart. Yeah, so I went to the caves, I started snooping around, and I found uh, a spot where I heard villager sounds. So I dug into the breeder, I'm like, oh god, I found the jackpot. Yeah, You're making you can... a video about making an OP base. Oh, okay. for real? Yeah. That's cool. And so I've been spared for now, I guess? I'm honestly really surprised. Is it because he trusts our newfound friendship, or because he expects me to leak his coordinates if we fight? After that really awkward interaction, I helped him finish his base, now that we're allies and all, and I was then roped into participating in the real reason that he's doing all of this. 
The story goes a little something like this. So at the very start, Quack was constantly being killed by what seems like literally every player on planet Earth somehow. I don't know, he's just really good at making enemies I guess. But one of these people happens to be the owner of the server. His name is Ty. People say he's like the strongest micro player or something. I don't know. But the idea was to make a base, gear up, and take him down once and for all. And me, I would now become his partner in crime. And so the seed had been planted. Our mission was to kill Ty by any means necessary. All there is to do now is to seize the opportunity in front of us. Let's do this. <laughs> Begin fight. So Quack and I, being basically just a duo at this point, ended up joining the biggest team on the server, having something like 20 plus players. It was crazy. But we joined with the intent to betray, and finally get the kill we need. The strategy for right now was to just blend in and wait for the perfect moment. I'm gonna punch I'm gonna punch him. Bro, I'm gonna help you out. I'm, I'm with you. What? I'm getting attacked by Kylie now. What? Oh god. I'm being I'm being attacked. I'm being run. What the fuck? I'm getting bed bombed! They're all turning against Charlie, I think. Who are they fighting though? I'm I'm so confused. Me. What? They're fighting me. Oh god. I'm coming, quack. I'm coming. Just run, just run, just run. Bro, what? Bro, what? I, I, I'm getting, I'm getting jumped here. <laughs> oh god. No, not like this. Not like this. There's so many of them, dude. Oh, I see you, I see you. Oh god, I can't help you. You have too many on you. You're gonna get swarmed. Who's fighting who? I'm so confused. No, I'm not back at base though. Oh, you died? You died? Oh, I just went the portal. Oh! Oh, good strat, good strat, good strat. We can do this. I'm not sure if I was going on, but... I don't know. I don't know. Where the fuck is the portal? Oh, I see it, I see it. Oh, I see it, I see it. Oh! Oh, come on, come on. Yes! Oh! Oh, I lived, I lived. Both Quack and I had just narrowly escaped death and retreating back to our base, but... The fight was far from over. We recollected ourselves and returned shortly after, this time with a vengeance. If there's, a, if there's anyone here, we're fighting them right away, who cares? But when we returned to the end, we discovered that the battle had dissolved and we were the only remaining players, or so we thought. Where is one in the outer end? Should we go? Oh, we, we could, yeah. So I say we let's, uh, let's just follow the blocks. Oh, he went this way, he went this way. I think he pearled here. He must have pearled here. Okay, just be careful with this. Oh, that's so scary. Oh, in city, in city, in city. He's probably here. Yeah. Oh, he's here, he's here, he's here, he's here. I see water. Oh, I found him. I found him, found him. Oh, shit. He, he juked us both. <laughs> uh, can I boost you? Yeah, Frez. Oh, genius. Let's go. Get him, get him, get him! I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Get the totem, by the way. Oh! Shit, just keep on him. Well, we've stacked against so it's so okay. Oh, hit him off, hit him off, hit him off. Move, move, quack, move. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. He's so close. I hit him up. I, I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Wait for it. Oh, he logged. He fucking logged. What a loser. Yeah, no, if he logs in, he's toast. It's over. Oh, probably checking replay mod right now. Yeah, it probably is. It probably is. He's like evaluating his uh his possible outcomes here. He's just 
doing all the snares at his head. <laughs> like, he's just panicking. I think he's gonna- he, he joined, he joined. Let's go! We got- we killed them, we killed them! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! That was the wrong target. And it wasn't the kill we wanted, but I don't think it mattered all that much anyway. When it comes down to it, we faced incredible odds, and despite the fact that we got hunted towards the end by the biggest team, which we were also in, we managed to kill someone. And in my book, I will take that as a win. You know, sometimes it feels like the goal itself becomes irrelevant in favor of the journey that gets you there. I went into this with no expectations and ended up making new friends, embarking on new experiences, and having a lot of fun. And that's much more than I could have asked for.